on flowers and seeds. I have not heard from either of you since that time. But I was very pleased to learn that you read at Kasagamori the two letters I wrote in the Kenji era in memory of the Saint Dozen Bow. If a tree is deeply rooted, its branches and leaves will never wither. If the spring is inexhaustible, the stream will never run dry. Without wood, the fire will burn out. Without earth, plants cannot grow. Nichiren is like the plant, and my master, the earth. I, Nichiren, am indebted solely to my revered teacher, Dozen Bo, for the fact that I have become the votary of the Lotus Sutra and that now I am widely talked about, both in a good and bad sense. There are four leaders of the Bodhisattvas of the earth. The first is called Jogyo. Dot in the fourth, Anryugyo. If Bodhisattva Jogyo appears in the latter day of the law, so must Bodhisattva Anryugyo. The rice plant flowers and bears grain, but its spirit remains in the soil. Therefore, the stalk sprouts to flower and bear grain once again. The blessings which I, Nichiren, obtain from propagating the Lotus Sutra will return to Dozen Bo. How sublime! It is said that if a master has a good disciple, both will attain Buddhahood, but if a master fosters a bad disciple, both will fall into hell. If master and disciple are not of the same mind, they cannot accomplish anything. I will elaborate on this point later. You should always talk with one another and surmount the sufferings of life and death to attain the pure land of Eagle Peak, where you may agree to speak in one mind. The sutra reads, they will display the three poisons and appear to cherish misleading philosophies. This is the means by which my disciples save the people. Be sure to keep in mind what I have stated thus far. Respectfully, Nichiren the fourth month in the first year of Koan, 1278. Background. Nichiren Daishonin sent this message from Minobu in April 1278 for the second memorial service for Dozen Bo. Dozen Bo had been the chief priest of Sicho-ji Temple where the Daishonin studied from the age of 12. On flowers and seeds, was addressed to Jokun Bo and Gijo Bo, also priests of Sicho-ji Temple. The essence of on flowers and seeds is the master-disciple relationship. The Daishonin first explains that a disciple is indebted to his master for the results he achieves. Dozen Bo could never bring himself to embrace the Daishonin's teachings, although he may well have been convinced of their truth. He felt bound by his position as a chief priest. Nevertheless, Nichiren Daishonin expresses his deep gratitude to his deceased master who initiated him into the priesthood. By the reference to Bodhisattvas Jogyo and Anryugyo, the Daishonin indicates that while Dozen Bo was his master, he himself was in reality the original Buddha. Because of the intimate bond between master and disciple, Buddhism holds that the disciple's actions can eventually affect the master. Nichiren Daishonin therefore confidently states that his good fortune from propagating true Buddhism will be transmitted to the life of the deceased Dozen Bo. In quoting the passage from the Sutra, they will display the three poisons. Nichiren Daishonin teaches the loftiest perspective from which to view problems and human frailty. If Buddhists were perfect, other people could not relate to them, let alone be tempted to try the practice themselves. There would be no way to demonstrate the process of human revolution. When people start out in practice, most of them regard problems and faults simply as the result of bad karma. But as they continue to practice and purify their lives, they begin to understand that, in another sense, they vowed to be born with these impurities so that as bodhisattvas they could prove the power of the Gohanzen.